Well, this is my dream life. Actually, I dream of having a flower garden where I can roam around and be entertained about the different colors of this flower. I'm so happy because our ducks have laid their eggs. We were so worried about the actual conditions of our ducks. They were so stressed in the transfer. In the kind of environment that they are in right now. Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. It's early in the morning, it's actually 6 o'clock and I love to watch the rising of the sun in the middle of this beautiful plants and they're about to bloom their flowers. Actually, I dream of having a garden where I can roam around and be entertained about the different colors of this flower. I'm preparing for my retirement. I always mention that in life, we have to think of the future. In life, we have to prepare of what is going to happen in the future. And it is certain that we are getting old. We are not getting any younger. Well, I'm not yet that old. I'm still 50 and turning to 51 this year. And I desire that when I get old, at the age of maybe 60 to 70 years old, if God will bless us with this gift of life, I dream to enjoy myself or entertain myself with caring of these animals and taking care of these plants and flowers and everything. And this extends our life. If you are doing the thing that you wanted to do in life, I think your life will be extended. You will be free from worry. We will be free from stress. And as I can see the sun rise early in the morning, I will remember of God's faithfulness that's really very new every morning. And today's video, we're gonna go to the pen of our ducks. I'm so happy because our ducks have laid their eggs and this is a milestone because we were so worried about the actual conditions of our ducks because uh, they were so stressed in the transfer and the kind of environment that they are in right now. And I have doubts that they will stop laying eggs. And indeed, they stopped laying eggs. But because of the attention that we were giving them, they are now starting to produce some eggs. And I'm so happy about this. I don't really know how many eggs we can harvest today. Allow me to just tell you about duck business because this duck business is not as easy as what you see. There are really factors that would affect the business that will result to losses. Many of my friends have experienced losses in so far as their duck farming is concerned because of just a little mistake would create big impact and somehow it will result to failure. The first thing that I can share with you about ducks is Never allow your ducks to go hungry. Well, I'm not saying that you are going to overfeed them, but never allow them to go hungry. Because if they will go hungry, then it will affect the egg production. If you are maintaining some hundreds or even thousands of ducks, you can estimate how much food you can prepare for them in a day. So we have to prepare in advance. So yes, never allow your ducks to go hungry. And number two, this is very important. Do not stress your ducks because if they are used to eating their food in at 6 o'clock in the morning and you are giving them at 4 o'clock or even at 9 o'clock in the morning, that's stressful to the duck because ducks have minds. They can anticipate. If you are normally giving them at 6 o'clock, then maintain it. And number two, do not change the diet of their ducks. 
if you want to give them a Zola, be sure that you can sustain that. And then maintain a one brand. If this brand of food is uh, working good for your ducks, then maintain it. And another thing is that never change your brand of food. It will greatly affect the egg production if you are every now and then changing the brand of your food. Brand A to brand B to brand C. So if you will feel that this brand A is already good for your duck, do not change that. Maintain the brand A so that the egg production will continuously flow. Another thing very important that I can give to you is the vitamins. We have to supplement them with vitamins. There are many vitamins online and you can discover it to yourself that there are really good vitamins. I'm not endorsing any, but the supplements are really important. Actually, the housing comes next. Because as you can see here, we even don't have housing for the ducks yet, but they're laying their eggs. So I'm so happy about this and I would like to let you see the actual preparation of our food. Come on, let's go and we will get the Zola. So this is the way how we prepare the food for our ducks. We have here the Azola and you can see that this Azola are blooming every day. Actually, we have vast of this Azola plantation. It's not the only plantation that we have. We still have big plantation right there at the farm. And this is just the buffer stock for our Azola. And every day we are giving this to our ducks. You will see here that I can get plenty of this oh and I will of course mix that with this uh, pellet oh this is amazing and this is the best that I ever have discovered but we have to maintain this one we cannot just give this today on Monday and then give them again on Friday you cannot do that because the ducks will become stressed when they are given the food without a Zola because they are already used to it. And this is actually the second feeding. And if you would like to avail the starters for this Zola, I'm selling this at 500 pesos per kilo. It's plenty already and it's a good start. If you are here in our place, Sambuanga City, you can just go to the pet store and make reservation. So come on, let's feed our ducks. Let's go in and let's collect the eggs. Come on. Ducks cannot be full. Actually, they're always hungry. But you have to regulate the giving of the food because if you will give them according to their demands, they're always demanding for food, then you will also incur losses. And it will not also work good because they will grow fat and they will not lay eggs also. So just enough, just regulate it. And today, as you can see over here, we have eggs. And these eggs are just laid this morning. And I intentionally did not allow them to collect these eggs because I would like to let you see what is happening here. This is not the final setup actually. I have to be honest with you that this is not even the environment that I wish for my ducks. This is a temporary place for them. But I tried my best to just secure them and give them the right kind of food and this is the result so our staff will now do the harvest come on let's go
So this is a life fulfilling activity. <laughs> I really love to do this kind of thing because uh, it gives me some energy, it gives me some joy, it gives me some hope that in the future we can expand the business and be able to share our experiences with other people so that they will also grow. And you will see that they are still doing the harvest and uh, I estimated this to reach around 80 to 90 eggs because there are 150 female ducks that are here and they're not all laying eggs yet because they are of different ages. So the ones that are already very old, the eight months, the seven months old ducks are the ones that are called egg machines. Every day they will really lay their eggs. I would like to emphasize also the fact that this duck farming could be a great business and could also be the major source of your failure of your losses so just uh, feel if you are a duck farmer you can empathize with what I am talking about because uh, there are really bad experiences that I have suffered before when I first uh, attempted to have this duck farm we have encountered so many problems so many failures and trials but now since we already have this experience then we can go on with this we already have the precautions and we already have the vast uh, techniques and we have already have enough techniques in order to let our ducks produce their eggs so guys we have completed the collection of the eggs I feel guilty about this because these ducks are in not good condition but they are producing eggs they're actually giving us back the investments of the food and what we're gonna do is of course we can incubate this one we're selling ducklings at the pet store we are allowing people to just also learn about this one and giving them opportunity to also raise their own ducks and this is it and I'm so happy about this and we will now also go to the quails because the quails are also doing good So these are the eggs for the day. You will see here there are plenty. I have how many trays? One, two, we have three, four, five, six trays and this trays contains 40, 40 eggs. Well, every day we're collecting massive of these eggs and on the onset of this uh, quail farm, I really had a problem about, you know, the predators like the cats and the rats, you know, and I felt discouraged about this and I started only with 29 heads of the squirrels. I only started with 30 eggs actually. I hatched that in the incubator and patiently waited for this until it will become you know adult and lay their eggs and this is the result now. They are already massive right here and they are eating their food of course every day and these eggs that we have produced are fertile eggs. This is not for human consumption because we put in here some cocks another experience that i can share with you is the fact that if you are discouraged if you are already very down it seems that it's the end of the world you get up and trust yourself and have faith in god because these are all the things the challenges that i have faced before and this is already very successful the squail farm is already very successful we have produced chicks we have produced eggs and I already have some buyers for this uh, fertile eggs. I gave them this at uh, 10 pesos per egg. So they will hatch that instead of buying the chicks. It's more cheaper to, you know, just buy the fertile eggs. If you have the incubator, you can just contact, you know, if you are here in our place in Buanga City, you can just uh, contact one of our staffs there at the pet store and you can make reservations about the fertile eggs if you have the incubator. So I'm so happy about this if you will look over there you know we will see here there are so many quails that are here you see that wow and they have started laying their eggs as well over there over there and we have new buds right there 
over here and now we are going to harvest more than hundreds two three hundreds i believe of this quail and uh, one important very important also tip that i can share with you is the stampede you know if you're going to get the chicks from the incubator and you are not prepared of your brooding pen then please uh, don't do it please prepare a good space for our day old chicks because they will easily die if they're gonna stamp it meaning that if they wanted to have the warm temperature they will trample upon each other and they will die so never put plenty of these chicks inside in one small space they have to be scattered So these are the things that I can share with you so far. I'm so happy today because of this development. And uh, if you are not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos regularly. And shout out to the members of this channel, those ones who followed us, new subscribers. Thanks a lot. And I'm so happy about what is happening today. And uh, I would like to see you in my next video only here at Dexter's World